welcome to BHC Today. I'm Pastor Dave from Bellevue Heights Church. So glad you've joined me for these few minutes on this Monday, April the 18th, uh, the Monday after Easter. A great weekend we had and Pastor Rob's sermons regarding, uh, he asked us the question, uh, the sermon topic was, how big is your cross? And he led us through an interesting time of reflection and contemplation. And he ended with um, the reality that in following Christ, the world considers us crazy. The world considers us crazy, not normal. And he encouraged us to be crazy lovers of Jesus Christ, to be crazy in our following. And uh, it was a great sermon, one which we uh, all agreed by the end of the service that we were happy to be crazy for Christ, crazy Christians. A couple verses come to mind as we consider the reality that um, we're really uh, not of this world. One scripture that comes to mind is found in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, and it says, If any man follows Christ, he is a new creation, a new creature. All things have passed away, all things have become new. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And in thinking about being a crazy Christian, we live in that reality that what Christ does in our hearts and lives is not like anything in this world. It's not the variations on the theme of being human. It's not just another compartment of our lives where one compartment is our love for, for money, another compartment is our love for cars, another compartment is our love for friends or another compartment is our family. No, um, in following Jesus, we become a new creation. Now that doesn't mean my body's new because it's not. Someday he will take care of that too. But it does mean that in following Christ, I am a new creature inside me, the essence of who I really am. In following him, he makes me new by his presence in my heart and life. Amazing. The other scripture actually takes place in John chapter 18, where Pilate is interviewing Christ, and at a given point, Jesus says, my kingdom is not of this world. If it were of this world, my disciples would have gone to battle with you. But my kingdom is not of this world. So today, on this Monday following Easter Sunday, as we live in the reality of, of being crazy Christians, let us remember that in Christ we are new creations. Old things have passed away. All things have become new. Nothing is the same as it was as we live and love as human beings, as good as sometimes we think that is. Jesus came into our lives to make us totally new, totally new creation. And so, when we think about the reality of faith, when we, th we think of the reality of the resurrection, we are living as new creations in this old world, in this fallen and broken world, worthy of our celebration and worthy of us constantly to be thinking about and praying into. Lord, let me live as your new creation. That's our prayer. I hope you have a great day. Enjoy being his new creation. Goodbye for now.